Summing up today's election results of the five states, starting with Uttar Pradesh, Yogi Adityanath is all set to return as Uttar Pradesh's chief minister after a landslide victory in the state. The BJP managed to secure 265 seats, meanwhile the opposition Samajwadi Party managed to secure only 120 seats. Congress and BSP once again failed to mark the territory in the state. Coming to Punjab, comedian-turned-politician Bhagwat Man will be the new chief minister of Punjab. The Aam Admi Party managed to sweep Congress out of Punjab. Aam Admi Party got around 95 seats, meanwhile the Congress managed to secure only 20 seats. Unfortunately, State Congress Chief Navjot Singh Sidhu lost from his Amritsar East constituency. On the very other hand, the Punjab Chief Minister Charanjit Singh Channi too lost from both his seats. Coming to Goa, BJP retained its power in Goa too. The BJP managed to secure 18 seats. Now, to form the government in Goa, BJP had to have 21 seats, but it had managed to get only 18 seats. Coming to the rescue, the three independent candidates decided to extend their support to BJP to form the government in Goa. The overtaking ceremony will likely be held on Monday. Shifting our focus to Uttarakhand, Uttarakhand will be witnessing another term of saffron flags. The BJP did not let any other party emerge in the state and managed to secure 47 seats, meanwhile Congress only managed to get 20 seats. Coming to the last state, Manipur, with 31 seats, BJP managed to retain their power in Manipur too. The state will also be seeing another term of saffron flags. The NPEP secured 7 seats, the Congress managed to get only 4 seats, meanwhile the NPF managed to get 5 seats. The BJP managed to paint 4 states with the saffron colour, another major win for the Modi-led BJP government.